Okay, this is what you're gonna need. Um, two of the Dollar Tree shower curtains that are clear, or the shower curtain liners, a can of black spray paint, as well as a can of spray insulation, and three sets of the Dollar Tree orange lights for Halloween. Okay, right here, I'm just spreading out the first shower curtain. It's really, I think it's a shower curtain liner. Let me put it that way. Um, I'm putting it in the spot that I wanna have the um, burning embers. It's on my front porch in front of my little creepy um, scarecrow. Sort of reminds me of Jeepers Creepers. But anyway, um, I'm just putting it on the floor to, you know, as a base basically. And you can put it on top of like a piece of wood or something if you want to transport it to a specific area, but it's going to be stationary here on my porch. So that's why I just put it directly on top of the floor. Um, now I'm plugging the lights together. This is three um, sets of the lights. And I'm just kind of spreading them out a little bit. They're all plugged together. because this is gonna be your faux fire underneath everything. So just kind of spreading them out like so. This is super easy, super cheap and simple y'all really. Okay, next I'm gonna plug them in so I can see where the, you know, the light is. Once I put the second shower liner on top. And you kind of want it kind of bunched up and crinkly because you want the height differences, you know, within a fire. You kind of want to make it, like I said, as realistic as possible. I've said that before in videos. That's the purpose. Realistic, but on a budget. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just kind of spreading them out and, you know, covering them up because you want them completely covered um, with the plastic as well. Okay, so I kind of got it where I want it. All right, now here is the can of spray insulation. I got this from Home Depot. It was $4.99, I believe, for a can. And you just, you know, follow the directions on the can. It's, you know, real easy and simple. And I'm just spraying it on, just kind of moving the can about, you know, spreading it out, covering it up because it want you want it to look like burning ash. You know what I mean? When you see a pile of or a fire, you see the ash and stuff like that. So you want some of the lights underneath to poke through. You know, it's sort of like when you're using charcoals on the grill or, you know, you make your fire. You want that ash look so this is what I'm doing okay now that I've sprayed the first layer of the spray insulation I'm now going to take the black spray paint and it's just a can of regular old Krylon um, black spray paint I think it's a matte finish but it really doesn't matter what kind long as it's black so what you're going to do now is hit the top of the insulation with the black, just kinda, you know, spraying here and there. But you want a good amount because you want it to look like burnt ash, basically. So yeah, I'm just spraying it around. And you see it's coming together. It's really, really a nice project, y'all. And I think the whole thing was like less than $10. It's not real expensive at all. Okay, I'm just going around because you want to be able to see it visually at all angles to where it looks, you know, um, really complete. Let's put it that way. Now I'm going to come back in with more of the foam insulation and I'm spraying that on top of it because you're layering it. And 
And the drying time on this is not very long. I think 10 minutes, you can actually touch it. And then, of course, you I would leave it for 24 hours to make sure it's completely dry. But it was dry to the touch in 10 minutes. So, yeah, doesn't take long at all. And especially if you're in a hot climate, it'll dry quicker. So, you know. Now I'm going back in with some more of the black to cover up what I put on top. This last layer of insulation um, needs to be covered with some black. So going in. And all this is doing is creating dimension, basically. Super, super easy, y'all. I actually got inspired by a Pinterest post that I saw, but I was not going through the steps that this gentleman did. I just took the easy way out, honey. <laughs> he had like several different steps to his, but I think he had like a haunted house or farm or something. But this is my version, so here it is. That's before the cauldron, and here it is after. So, hope you try this out. Let me know if you do. Thanks for watching.